Talented Someone is brought to you by Dangerously Talented Plays the Sounds of 2010. Welcome to Tell It To Someone, the only show which has to compete with the big day out, which is like going on five kilometers away and I can still hear it! And the first question today is from... Scarlet Pookie. When will the bunny revolution happen and are you prepared to serve our new furry overlords? Well, the, uh... The, the bunny um, revolution um, will happen pretty soon um, and the bunny overlords will um, take over um, rather quickly after that but I am prepared to um, serve our uh, our bunny overlords in a nice in a nice uh, rabbit casserole with with some thyme and some uh, and some uh, carrots of course and onion and, and celery and um, have a, a nice um, stew, and um, then the uh, um, and that will defeat the rabbit overlords because um, rabbits don't really survive getting casseroled all that much. Junkman Jim has the next question: How do I know that you are not a computer-generated animation pretending to be human? Can you rip your skin off your hand like Terminator so I can see if you have a metallic exoskeleton? Um, no, I can't do that, but I did get sunburnt like last week, so I think I might have some skin flakes left. Yeah, I think they're all gone actually, so I can't peel my skin off and, and show you that I'm not like, you know, the Terminator. You'll just have to take my word for it. Got sign 234 asks, Vova sticked. Got Gott sind in meinen Schwanz. I think three of my viewers speak German, so uh, that's that's one specially for you. And um, next one is Prism Seeker. Have you found Jesus, and are you safe? Well, yeah, I um I found Jesus um. Of course, um, since he was nailed to a cross, he's been um, undead for quite some time. And, um, well, when I found Zombie Jesus, I had to save myself um, because he's a zombie. But you can do that easily by making him believe that um, your brains are not worth eating. And what you do is you um, tell him you have bovine spongiform encephalitis. And if he eats, your, if he tries to eat your brain, then he will catch bovine spongiform encephalitis. And um, and because zombies are immortal, um, the only thing apart from chainsaws that will kill them is bovine spongiform encephalitis. So, if you, you know, if you want to save yourself from a, a zombie Jesus, then um, then tell them you have bovine spongiform encephalitis and, and you'll be okay and then what you can do because they're a zombie and you know not all that you know um what you can do is you can um then get them to uh, act as your slave and um don't uh, yeah if you find zombie jesus around don't get him to do your um washing don't get him to wash your clothes because every time he touches water it turns into wine and this, this shirt was originally white because he turned it into red wine and then washed it in the red wine and then ironed it and used the spray and the red wine was in the spray and it became red. Unless you like having a red shirt, of course. Unless you like having all your shirts be red and not the magnificent rainbow of, of colours that I have. The next question is from... JT loves Dexter. If you could travel at the speed of light, where would you go first? Well, I can't really travel at the speed of light. I have, because I, I put on a whole lot of weight since, well, 2001, I think. I was, was rather, 
skinny then. Um, so I can only travel at the speed of heavy and that is um, basically terminal velocity. See if I if I jumped off that cliff I would be travelling the speed of heavy. Um, the next question is from um, Atheist Ape. What should my question be about and how long should it take to ask and did I spell everything correctly? E V E R Y T H I N G. Yeah, you spelt it correctly. And the second last question uh, for today is if you were to declare a, uh, a city the capital of Earth as opposed to just the capital of a country, which city would you choose? Well, after the um, rabbit um, revolution that um, happened, the anti rabbit revolution that is going to happen, um, there will have to be a a world capital because the um, rabbits took over the whole world and um, I, I think I'd nominate Ballarat to be um, to be my um, to be my capital of choice um, I like the idea of uh, having um, President um, um, Stripey Head and Vice President Wheezy Waiter uh, having to go to Ballarat and um, do all their pronouncements from that old bandstand near Lake Wenderee and um, and they they'd speak to the nation uh, the planet and um, and they'd have their parades down that that big boulevard with the the trees on it and and all of the most important world leaders would have to um, um, like stay in like um, those those motels um, the family motels that they've got there. Um, so that that will be a humbling experience for them. I mean, it's okay for me because I, you know, I, I, you know, living in a hotel would be like quiet. But you know, though, you know, the big world leaders they're used to living in places that um, are bigger than that place over there. You know, which is pretty darn big. Um, so you know, it, it'd be humbling for all the world leaders, um, except for Mr. Stribey. Head, of course, who is the um, world president after the rabbit revolution, and he'd be, um, you know, swearing and things. You know how stripy head is. You probably, yeah. Anyway, um, that is it for tell it to someone this week. And big day out has final with it. Um, if you would like to uh, have your question answered on tell it to someone, click, uh, write it down there. Ah. Uh, I have thinking music? No. I'll just save this for the rabbit slash zombie apocalypse. Yeah, uh, I think I think it's finished. All that music in the background. I'm dangerously talented and I don't have a cool sign off.